Hey everybody, this is another FreeCAD Path tutorial video, and in this video I'm going to cover the basics of the mill facing operation. This is another new operation in the version 0.17 uh, development branch, so if you're running uh, stable 0.16, you're not going to see it. Um, anyway, the uh, uh, let me switch over to the view and I'll run through the basics. What I've got here is uh, um, my object created and uh, and a job already created for it. Uh, this is a my profile torture object. You see, it's got a very deep undercut and an irregular shape with some surface features and some corner uh, chamfers and other features. Um, if I was going to make this object out of a uh, uh, piece of material, wood or metal or something like that, I would be starting with a stock object, uh, a cube or something that I've roughed out. And I've added a FreeCAD cube here and set it transparent just so we can uh, see the rough dimensions. And you see from the top, it's just a little bit bigger in the X and Y direction and height wise, it's a little bit larger as well. So if I was gonna make this piece, the first thing I might wanna do is reduce my stock thickness down to the level of the top of the object here. And the way I might do that is to select this top face and add a pocket operation. And uh, I'll set my depths a little bit higher so we can see just how wrong this went. And you can see that while I did get a path, it, it's attempting to clear the entire face, but it's avoiding the features. It's avoiding the, uh, the internal features where there, there is no face there. The, uh, it also avoided these uh, outside edges, again, because it's operating on the face. Now, I might say, well, you know, what I need to do is add additional, um, additional faces to the pocket selection. And you can see that, yeah, that, that got, you know, that got the clearing path in here. But what you can't really see is that that clearing path is actually clearing all the way to the back of that undercut. So it would be destroying the top part of my part uh, like this. The other problem with this is, besides those, is that it's not clearing these, uh, um, these other parts of where the stock object is uh, out in these corners as well. So in a, and I don't have any geometry that I can click on and select. So how can I, um, you know, force the the pocket operation to clear those down to the top level? And really, you can't. Uh, not with the way uh, pocket is currently written. So I'm going to go ahead and delete this operation, and I'll show you how we can achieve this the our actual desired outcome using the mill facing operation. And I'm going to turn off my stock cube for right now. Um, since my job already references the object, I can go ahead and hit the mill facing button. And you'll see that it automatically generated a path for us. I haven't even selected any geometry yet. And that's because at this point, it's operating off of the base object in the job. And it is has got a path that's already uh, far superior to what we were getting with the pocket operation. It's doing a regular clearing, it's avoiding these internal features, and it is uh, um, and it's doing the entire shape. Uh, you might first say, well, it's, it, you know, it, it's probably pushing the tool out far enough, but I'd really like to overcut that a little bit uh, and make sure that I'm, I'm clearing it far enough so when I come back in and contour it, my tool isn't going through full height material. So on the operation, we've got a pass extension and I can just throw in about, oh, we'll go six millimeters. And it just expands the, the uh, clearing area by that amount in both directions, X and Y. Um, so now looking at it from the, the uh, top down, you can see that I'm pretty much clearing my entire object. And, if my stock object was basically the shape of my final part, this might be all that I need. It might be perfect. However, since I'm starting with a cuboid and I, I still need to rem remove these corner areas as well. So we have an option here for the boundary shape. And if I change the boundary from perimeter to bound box, you'll see that it did exactly that. It does it now does a regular clearing through the entire bound box of the part. 
And that might, depending on the shape of my stock object, might do it. Um, or it might be, you know, not quite big enough, so I might need to still tweak with my uh, uh, pass extension value a little bit. And, uh, you know, I can make sure that I'm now going far enough. And right now that would work. Um, uh, but I'm not, you know, that's one very heavy cut from the top down, so I might want to change step downs and, and start at like 40 and go down like two at a time, something like that. Yep. And now it's looking uh, quite a bit more like uh, what we'd probably expect. Anyway, I'm just playing with it here. Uh, the uh, uh, You'll see that the base geometry tab still does allow for selecting specific geometry in here. Uh, if I were to select this face and add it, you see that uh, it what it did is it operated now, instead of operating off the whole object, it operated off the selected face. Uh, this would be very good, for instance, say I wanted to come down just, I just wanted to mill this top face down, but I wanted to avoid that internal feature problem that we saw originally, you can do that. However, uh, if I switch this back to uh, using the perimeter shape, you can see that I've still got a real problem with this. While it is operating on the face and it is operating on the perimeter, um, it, it's, it, it is actually plowing right through this overhang here because the face extends underneath the overhang. The, the current implementation of mill facing is not taking that into account. That is a limitation of mill facing right now, so just be aware of that uh, and check your paths very carefully. That's about it for mill facing. If you have any questions or comments, please post to the FreeCAD forum or in the comments down below. I'd be uh, glad to hear whatever you've got to say. And uh, anyway, let me know how it works out. Thanks. I want to give another uh, shout out and thanks to uh, Maker Redux Corporation. Maker Redux is a platform for makers to get their things manufactured, collaborate with others, and get paid for their work. Uh, they've been very helpful to me on path development and are also sponsoring these videos. If you get a chance, please check them out.